All right guys, welcome back to Favorite Fits. My name is Alec. If you're new here, basically we'll go over to the store, we'll pick out a couple outfits, we'll talk about them, why we like them, um, and we're gonna try them on in front of you guys. We got Chris and Drew hopping in as well. We got Graham behind the camera. Um, please enjoy, we're gonna, we're gonna chop it up today. All right, for my February Favorite Fits, I kind of went with a little bit more of a a gorp look. Uh, I did a pretty good job at kind of mixing the brands in. Uh, two of the pieces happened to be North Face, um, but I kind of went with a piece from Real McCoy's, a really nice, simple, basic, and then um, one of the new RF jeans from Engineered Garments. Really excited to try that one on. The color scheme is gonna be kind of something more out there than I would normally do, but I think it really ties in these pieces. And like, I just love it when I kind of, like I started with an idea in my head and then when I put it together, the colors worked out so well and I'm like, that's the one. Um, I don't know if you guys ever seen those videos where like people will do a printout of their body and then swipe across. That's what goes on in my head. Um, but yeah, so starting off with that, kind of want to show you guys the, this is the um, Glencliff Low with the suede upper. Um, definitely has the style of an, a climbing approach shoe, but you know, this is gonna be a really nice, lightweight, um, kind of everyday shoe. Um, and I think the technical term for it is approach shoe. Um, but I can see myself wearing this, whether it's around Pearl Street by the store, or you know, trucking along, getting ready to go to a little sunset hike right after work at the res. Um, if you guys follow me, you already know, that's that's like my go-to routine. Um, so really excited to put these shoes on and trying to be able to style this to show you guys that it, yes, it is an approach shoe, but you can definitely in the whole world of uh, Gorp Core, you can definitely style this up so you can make it a little bit more of a street style look. Um, up next, um, this is the crew neck from Real McCoys. Um, again, we've been really excited overall uh, about being able to carry this brand. Um, just what I kind of describe it as is a heritage brand and anybody that knows the Real McCoys, it's like, Oh my gosh, it's available at that shop. I need to check it out. The weight of this black crew neck, I know it looks plain and simple, but it's just a really good, honestly feels like a super weighted hoodie from Lady White, but with a soft, um, soft fleece interior versus your typical French terry cotton. Uh, but again, like really good basic. Definitely more on the heavier weight side. So come spring, it might be on the heavier side, but like early crisp mornings, kind of like what we're having now, 20 degree mornings into um, 60 degree days, I'd probably end up wrapping this around my shoulder when I'm not wearing it. But it's always good to have it for the morning and the evening. Um, up next, RF jeans from Engineered Garments. I really like the pattern on here. Um, hopefully you can see it through the video, but it's orange, yellow, red, little like, kind of like poppy flowers. So again, it's, it's a, kind of a dark wash blue jean, but the kind of floral pattern adds a little bit of a flair to it. Come spring, I think this is gonna be a really fun pant to wear around. Um, just wearing it with sneakers, wearing it with boots. Uh, it's It's got a really, it's a lot of play to it. You could dress it up or dress it down. Um, again, I think just that floral pattern is really unique. Um, I'm gonna look into a little bit more on how they did it exactly. But yeah, really excited to style this together. And then we are heading into spring, but you know, Colorado, we're kind of having a late winter. Um, all week it's been 60 degrees. But, and of course today, it was just by chance. It's freezing cold outside. It started to snow a little bit, a couple flurries. But this is the Nupsy Puffer, a North Face classic. Um, you know, sixth grade me would have gone with the pitch black fully black North Face suit, but this maroon kind of plum color is gonna be fun to play around with. Um, so this plum, Nepsy, plus the green suede um, Glen Cliffs are gonna really kind of tie in the floral prints from the engineered garments pants, and I'm excited to see how everything ties together and show you guys how to you know go with that a little bit more casual Gorp core wear. Um, and then, you know, let me know in the comments what you think about it? Does it work? Does it not work? Um, yeah, really excited to show you guys all of, that, all of that together. Okay guys, first piece on the dock today, we got the Marnie Poplin 
in a very delicate pink. I really like this one. It's kind of spring, summer, you're hanging out on the beach, getting a drink. Um, the lapel kind of opens up a little bit so you can wear it with a tank, which uh, I will actually be doing today. You know, it's very easy on the eyes. It's not like a highlighter pink or anything too insane. Um, you get the everything that you love and nothing you don't. Next piece, these are the Double RL Herringbone Painter Pants. You got a little loop on the bottom for your hammers or, you know, whatever gear you're rolling up with during the day. Herringbone, meaning you get like this nice little delicate touch on the pants as well as the paint. You get an extra hit there. Um, yeah, super cool pants. Um, I don't own a pair of painters yet, so maybe this will be the one. Lastly, we got the shoes. These are the Seeger Lows from Visvum. Um, white or ivory, if you will. Just your typical elevated converse. You got some vibram on the bottom um, and you get a little hit of red there, just a little added color. So, uh, you know, we're gonna put these things on. Hopefully they'll coalesce into something sick and uh, yeah, it's very spring. What's up everyone, Drew here. I'm gonna show you guys my portion of favorite fits. So to start off, I got a shirt from Our Legacy. This is specifically the box shirt. It's a pretty kind of obviously boxy fit. It has a straight hem on the bottom, which I really like, because it doesn't really hang down too far. Kind of a good layering piece. It's a mix between cotton, and I think Portuguese linen. Uh, really nice, just kind of gradient plaid uh, pattern to it with some good buttons. Um, I just love our legacy as a brand altogether. They do a really good job at making super wearable pieces that are still very fashion forward. They have that kind of, you know, European feel to it, a little fancy, but like I said, very wearable. Um, so yeah, that's the box shirt from our legacy. All right, so these are the 101 dad fit from Orslo. Um, it's kind of a new fit. It's kind of a new fit we've had um, here in the shop. Uh, this is the black denim stone. It's a pretty straight leg, a little wide, but not too like crazy baggy or anything like that. Um, I think they call it the dad fit for a reason. It's still pretty reasonable um, for just everyday wear, you know, everyday style. It has really nice hardware, cool little tag in the back. Um, yeah, just Orzlo 101 dad fit. Just great popular fit that's pretty new to our store still. Um, so definitely check those out. All right, next we have a work jacket from MM6 Margella. It's a pretty awesome work jacket in my opinion. It has great distressing on the edges, nothing too crazy, no like huge holes or anything. Um, good zippered pocket on the front. Classic Margella label, which everyone can appreciate. Quilted lining, just a really wearable piece. Um, yeah, just love this jacket. Last but not least, we have the shoes. Uh, these are from Catchball. They are, I believe, the military deck shoe. Um, I'm from the East Coast, so I grew up always wearing either, you know, Sperry's, Vans, Converse, all that stuff. Um, and Catchball is just doing really nice, just updated versions of these styles. Um, they're made in Korea, Japanese fabric, I believe. Um, and then just with updated details, like an ortholite uh, insole. Yeah, and just, just really nice details, to be honest. I love these shoes. And that is it for my favorite fit. All right guys, that was uh, our favorite fits for the month of February. Thank you for joining us on this little adventure we call February Favorite Fits. Thank you for joining us on this little adventure we call life. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what your favorite fit was. Let us know what your least favorite fit was. We like a little bit of banter. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.